James Kaufman World News Report today, January 14th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. I'm not, well, blowing it. Neither one of the recorders will work. They don't want y'all to see this huge, you know, when you do the math, it's very close to the earth which means this must be a huge rock. So one astronomical unit, which I'll show you guys, is about 90,000 miles. And this is going to go between Earth and our sun, but really much closer to Earth. Look at all this crap. Here it comes on the screen. Now, y'all remember another atlas. That's the Sky Survey's name. Actually, doing the same exact thing. It made around the sun, I believe. This one is expected to make it around the sun. Uh, and all actuality, it's only about 10 million miles from Earth. So it's going to be up close and personal to Earth. And Earth's 90 million miles from the sun. So it's about 80. 80 million miles from the sun but you can see that this is an up close and personal pass it is visible with your naked eye currently i believe that's going to be your eastern hemisphere in the morning and then once it goes around the sun or once it actually orbits before the sun i guess are we the center of the universe then it will again be visible from the, well, and I don't like the, the filter they put in there. Then be visible from the evening sky, which would be, or is going to be really epic. They're saying if it doesn't burn up. Well, it's not getting much closer to the sun than we are. We're 90 million miles away. It's going to be 82 million miles away. Look how large it is. The sun is the size of the circle here. And Earth is just a little speck, a little speck of the sun. Y'all need to realize if this, in fact, is in front and between the sun and Earth, being illuminated by the sun, look at that tail. Imagine how big it is. I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's supposed to go within 0.9 astronomical units, which is about 82 million miles. We're about 93 million miles from the sun. And as you can see, this has all already occurred. It made its close approach, and there was no burning up. It's like it's north of the sun to me, but... It's hard to read these instruments, obviously. That is a huge, absolutely huge planet that should have been visible. Look at the size. It's as big as the sun, guys. The sun is this, um, well, yellow circle here. Should have been visible. And it was. I saw pictures of it with naked eye cameras. And it will be again as it goes around the sun. But this is number two, isn't it? Because we already had Atlas come around just a few months ago. I said, whoa, Mandela effect, right? This is all still real time. It's going into the 14th. About to cut because we're about over. So it's already made around the sun. Remember, one AU or astronomical unit. This is from moderately or regularly earth to the sun is about 93 million miles and this is coming much closer to earth than the sun if the information they're giving us is correct out of jpl jet propulsion laboratory We're talking about who um uh, really very close to earth indeed remember one astronomical unit is 93 million miles and we're up close and personal to the sun and this is 0.9 astronomical units 
So y'all probably remember C, 2023 A3 to Chin Shan Atlas, right? Part of the Atlas Sky Survey. That's why they're all named the same thing. And this did just about the same exact thing. Uh, it was visible. I don't remember if it was visible with the naked eye if it was quite this big. But it did pretty much the same thing. Came from right facing side on Lasco and went around the sun. And I think it got a little bit more beat up by the sun. But this one's already made its way around. This is something we could see with our eyes, naked eyes, two, three days ago. And in the evening time, when it comes back around over the next two or three days, it's going to be a once in a million, once in a lifetime for sure sight, having a comet, a comet that's visible to the eye with a tail in the nighttime sky or evening sky here. This is what we're watching right now. C2024 G3 Atlas. And it looks like, well, they discovered April 5th, 2024. And I believe it's going to make its close approach to Earth here in a, a few weeks. But we'll see how that turns out. Now, in case I got anything wrong, there's hundreds of comets that have been Assigned to that Atlas survey here. Here is C 2024S1. Just another comment. But I believe the two that we saw go around the sun are the two that I picked out and we talked about. With that said, what a freak show. Signs in the heavens, to say the very least. Miss Teresa, you're flying over us. God bless you. You look beautiful in all your splendor. With that said, guys, what a long week. What a long week for me. I want to thank any and everyone that's reached out and supported the channel, supported Miss Teresa, and just been there for the channel. It's been a big loss. And I know God knows best, so I'm waiting to see what our next, well, the living's next route is. And I don't mean that in any way rudely, as in I want to forget. I don't. Uh, all I want to do is get her back. But I, I think that's above my pay scale right now, guys. That said, God bless, share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world.